Hey everybody, this is Jake, and this is vlog number four. Hey guys, this is Jake here, and today we're going to be talking about challenges, uh, maybe a potential maker meetup, and of course, our top three. So, yeah, we're going on the same walk again. We'll go maybe a different neighborhood this time and check it out. But uh, last night it snowed again. So, it wasn't too bad. Just about oh, an inch. And it's actually warm. It's like in the 30s. So, I can leave my, leave my jacket unzipped. But uh, since we talked last time, last week and this week, it's been a real pain in the butt. I've been trying to get going on my shoe rack and using some reclaimed lumber from some pallets I tore apart. But pallets are a pain in the butt. At least they have been for me lately. I'm having a hard time getting a mill down. I'm trying to get them straight or flat, even with a planer, is just ridiculous. And so I've been struggling and struggling. I even went and got another big old eight foot pallet. It's all oak. I have a feeling the wood was still a little bit too wet because I went and planed it down. It started warping on me pretty bad. So I said forget it. And plus I'm just getting stuck in my design. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether just to kind of use a miter joint or a butt joint. It just needs to be real, real simple where the kind of the shelves come together. And uh, just need to decide what to do for goodness sakes. I don't know if anybody else gets stuck like that in a project where you just kind of get stuck in one part and it just, I don't know, it's almost paralyzing in a way. Uh, but I just kind of make a decision on how I want to do it and just make it happen. Instead of just being so worried about the thing. It's just a shoe rack for goodness sakes. So last week I talked about Better Futures Minnesota. So I actually went down there today and I picked up some wood from there. They've got some really cool reclaimed wood. It's out of the homes here locally. And I got about four pieces of actual two by four, not the stuff you can buy now, but back in the day when it was actually two inches by four inches. Nice pine, it's got real nice texture to it. And uh, so I'm gonna be using those for those for my, my shoe rack and probably some other projects. Talk to them down there, I'm gonna try and set up something to uh, go interview them and put them on the channel so you can learn about them. If you live in the Twin Cities and you want to find where to get some material for your older home, and they've got a lot of nice stuff, outside doors, storm doors, uh, hardwood flooring, old wood, uh, appliances even, uh, a lot of good stuff there. So hopefully we're going to work something out in the next few weeks and uh, I'll get you guys down there so you can see what they've got. The other thing I've been thinking about is maker meetups. I've heard of them in other places, but I have not heard of one being done here in the Twin Cities. So my proposal for those of you who live close to the Twin Cities, or maybe just outside of the Twin Cities, is this spring to schedule a Minnesota maker meetup. I think that'd be cool. There's a lot of people here doing a lot of cool stuff. And I think it would be really neat to have a chance for everybody to meet each other, everybody hang out, find a, a cool brewery or cool place to go get some go get some beer. Because that's, that's one thing about Minnesota. You guys know how to do your beer. I've never seen so many breweries, microbreweries. Uh, you guys are ridiculous and I love it. So keep it coming. So um, I'm proposing uh, a Minnesota Maker Meetup this spring, maybe sometime in March or April. We'll kind of see where everybody thinks. Leave some comments down below if you think that would be a good idea, something you would like to be a part of and, and do. Um, that would be really neat to uh, kind of meet everybody, hang out, have some beers in a few months. I'm just slipping all over the place. Look at this. Woo! Woo! It's crazy slippery. I don't have my don't have my good snow boots on. I just got my Red Wings. It's all about the Red Wings. Actually, I bought these Red Wings in Red Wing. Actually, this is where they make them. Good old Minnesota, another 
cool place I went. So, so much going on here. I love it. So, this week's top three. This week, number one for our YouTube, Maker Geek. Maker Geek. Check out Maker Geek. I'll put the channel down below. He does all kinds of maker stuff. Uh, wood, plastics, metal, fabrication. I'll show you a little video right there. There it is. Uh, check him out. He's making a lot of cool stuff. Definitely worth a view. The second, number two. If you want to improve your YouTube, you want to improve your social media, uh, Daryl Eves, and I'll put the spelling down below. It's not spelled the way you think. Um, but if you're looking to kind of improve your YouTube and improve your quality of your content and kind of know what's going on, check out all his good stuff. He posts pretty regularly, has a lot of good information, and I think you guys would really benefit from checking him out if you haven't already and you've got YouTube or any other social media. Um, definitely worth it. Last but not least, on Instagram, if you don't know who Canadian Woodworks is, you need to check out Canadian Woodworks. This guy's making really cool stuff. A uh, lot of cool projects, a lot of cool builds, and uh, I really like what he's doing. He's got a lot of followers on Instagram, and so I would definitely give him a look and see what you think and I don't think you'll be let down. By the way, I got a couple emails this week from a couple of you watching, so you really like it, keep it up. Really enjoy that, and if you've got any other comments or questions for me, make sure you put those below. If you have anybody I need to know about or promote, make sure you put those down below. I've already checked out one from last week. Someone said I need to check out, and it really was worth it. So put that down below. Uh, Maker Meetup, what do you think? Put that down below too. Let's see if we can get something going. The next few months here and again if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe like and comment and this is jacob all trades saying we'll see you next week